How's it going? Armor Blue here. So I have done just a tiny bit of upgrading. I'll upgrade the rest of my stuff throughout this video. I still have to get the enchantments that I want on my armor, but I've got what I need for my pickaxe and axe. So while I'm here, I might as well change this out to a beacon. forget how to do the how many levels there are so I ended up putting it together a little bit of an odd way but that's all right now I've got some speed here which is handy because this base is huge I don't really need haste I might change it out when I do some mining but for now I feel like this is good I'm so speedy, speedy. Look at me, I'm so fast. All right, so I am going to go ahead and start on the interior of this build. I'm gonna need some things to work with, but first I gotta kinda decide what I'm gonna do here. I'll probably do a lighter floor. There we go, got the floor done. I left the corners just a little bit uh, damp with the jungle wood, just in those areas where the moisture seeps through a little bit. Now I have to decide where I am going to put the wood burning stove. This corner makes sense because it is the driest, but this corner makes sense because you know the, oh, I gotta do the floor in here. But, like, if the wood is in here, it would make sense that you have it right by the wood-burning stove. And this area would be basically utilized perfectly with the space putting down the stone here for the wood-burning stove to be on. So, you know, things don't catch on fire. Ah, decisions, decisions. Alright, so I went ahead and put it in this corner because it just made more sense for it to be closer to the wood. And then that leaves this space open up for a bed and a table and things like that.
got all of my gear upgraded to how I want it, except for my shirt. I still have to add the unbreaking, and I also filled up almost all of this. Uh, there is... I did up to M, basically. Didn't do mending, but did a few things after, and then, yeah, I got still have to, quite a bit to fill in. But I am so done with trading with villagers, it's so tedious. I'll get to it another time. So I have the interior done now. I've got the quilt on the bed, of course. Simple shelving unit over there. Got my counter and my sink and of course the table and chairs. Nice and cozy and super simple. And then in here I've got the axe for going out and chopping wood and then the barrels with well, there'll eventually be some wood in there, I think. And yeah, that's this room done. All right, so I got it. Got the netherite ingots and one, two, and where's the third one? Not in there. There we go, the last one. And done! Yes! I got netherite gear! Yay! I'm so happy! So there is only one more thing left to do in this section, and that is to make this quite a bit more forest-like. Because... The amount of trees is okay, but especially in this ravine area, I need more trees, uh, a lot more little trees and bushes and underbrush. So yeah, th then it'll look a little bit more tree-like. I also am going to extend, like make a little path area here by the store and have it go back here because this is kind of behind the house a little bit of an opening I'm and yeah so I'll just go ahead and get started hey kitty coming from the jungle did ya I don't have any fish for you.
now that it's turning night, I need to make sure that this forest is uh, lit up well enough to walk through, essentially. So, a light there, a high one there, and nighttime is definitely the best time to make sure that things are lit up well enough. And I'm gonna have lamps along these roads at some point, so I'm not too worried about that. Now, it doesn't have to be 100% spawn proof around here, uh, just well enough that it cuts down on the mobs. There we go. Like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect, but yeah. close enough. I'm gonna sleep now. Well, that is it for the fall section. I am really happy with how it turned out. I find the custom trees really challenging, but a lot of fun. I'm quite happy with how this cabin turned out. I had a lot of fun trying to figure out the grading of with the different colors of wood and the decorations were a joy. I really like how this turned out. It actually does have a very good forest kind of a feel to it, which is perfect. Also got this beacon and netherite gear. I'm quite happy about that. But that's it for this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. And we'll catch you in the next episode, where hopefully we'll be able to start on the winter section. Ooh. Oh, that scared me.